types inside Pooh Shicey's life behind bars. Cause I ain't gonna lie, before I seen this shit recommend, I forgot this nigga was in jail. Pause? Let's pause. Watch the exvid. Yeah, I'm gonna watch the exvid right after this. We're gonna watch the exvid after this. Pooh Shiesty has been behind bars for almost a year at this point, and all types of rumors have been going around. Some say he's snitching, and others say he's trying to commit suicide. So here's an inside look at what's really happening to Pooh Shiesty behind bars. But first, let's go back to how this started, because Pooh Shiesty is- Chat. Say, say, uh, damn, nobody told me my do-rag was all the way on top of my goddamn- Anyway, say I go to jail, right? I fucked it up even more. Say I go to jail. But y'all got ops in there. Like, they really trying to kill you. Like, nigga, you come out that cell. You, nigga, you stay in the cell. You stay in jail, nigga, you're dead. You're getting shanked, whatever. Are y'all punching a cop? Are y'all doing, are y'all starting a riot? Are y'all doing whatever y'all can to stay in solitary confinement? But mind you, you're going to be in there for like, you, like you have like a two-year sentence. Are you going to be in solitary confinement for two years? No. I would do it. But you might go crazy. And two years is actually not that bad. So you might not go crazy. But good. If you in solitary, like, mind you, solitary confinement is look at look 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 at my camera. It's literally like this. And then like, feel me? It's literally you in the you in a cement box. Like you don't you barely get you don't get no sunlight, nigga. Nope. You don't talk, you have no interaction with anyone. Like, even if you was in jail, you wasn't talking to nobody, you would still hear other people talk. Still get to go outside. You don't do nothing. It's only one hour of the day you get to um do something. That's when you get your food. But I think some solitary confinement, though, like, you actually do get one hour to, uh... I heard, like, you get one hour to actually go outside. But, like... I don't know is it like once a month i don't i don't remember or yeah, some shit i know that was in the box oh shit here we go they couldn't get no calls no or oh, you couldn't get phone calls no either phone in solitary call, confinement no no so that means chat you get no interaction with your other inmates the only the guards just throw your food through the goddamn uh little slot and that shit lands on the floor and you gotta eat it off the floor nigga do your push-ups where you piss at you get no phone calls. You get no letters. Like you're gonna go crazy no in there. Commissary. No commissary. You get you get to read books in that bitch. I think so like, you, you get a book. Yeah, you gotta re get your stuff right. Not gonna lie, I might let some cop fuck up. All right, I'm gonna just continue. Is now a well-known rapper from Memphis, Tennessee. He recently signed to Gucci's main new 1017 Records in early 2020 and has flourished since. He even dropped his singles Monday to Sunday with Lil Baby and Back in Blood featuring Lil Durk, which solidified his spot. I never heard this Monday guy to even Sunday. went on to start an entire trend out of being shysty and wearing ski masks. It was until later into the year of 2020 when he got himself yeah. into a situation that would change his life forever. Shysty was meeting up with some guys to buy some drugs and designer shoes, but ended up getting caught robbing and shooting both of the sellers on surveillance camera, then pulling away and it's very noticeable. What the fuck? I don't know enough. Thank you. I appreciate you. Give me him. Is he up? Yeah, bro. I never knew this. What the fuck? This whole time I thought he was only in um in there for some, you know, some shit before he got famous. And some, uh, that shit that happened in the club. Up getting caught robbing and shooting both of the sellers on surveillance camera, then pulling away in his very noticeable lime green McLaren. But this situation... And you did it with in designer cars. Like, bro, niggas is so stupid, bro. It's nothing compared to his most recent. The artist was performing at King of Diamonds Gentleman Club in Miami with four pockets full of cash. And after he finished his set, as security was escorting him out, he accidentally dropped around 40000 in cash on the ground in front of a group of fans. And you know how people get around money. They instantly start scrambling. Picking up almost all of his money immediately stopped and demanded that whoever stole the money returned it immediately However, people weren't paying him any attention as they had strict tunnel vision for the dollar spread in front of them That was until the rapper got fed up and fired a shot at the ground so everyone could stop picking up his cash this Nah, I can't lie. This nigga's a menace, bro Like he really lived what he rap about nigga. He was four first of all He was four pf that night. He was four pockets for I remember the story but I, I thought he shot in the air or some shit Bro, I didn't know. So, Matt, chat, you know you it's a fucking pinata, nigga. You open that shit, bust that shit open, Matt King, you drop, niggas going for it. Chat, you know you drop a dollar on the floor, everybody going for it. Nigga, he boomed at the ground. Bah! While niggas is scrambling for the money. Bro. Oh! What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> like, and if you remember that outfit he was wearing, it was some tight-ass white pants. I think, matter of fact, they just showed us. So actually, I'm pretty wrong. 
the media. Music. However, people weren't paying him any attention as they had strict tunnel vision. Oh, the money started scrousing in cash on the ground. And it just said as security was escorting him. Oh, no, I was right. He had some tight ass white pants on. How your money fall out of that shit? How your money falls out them tight ass pants? Like, bro. Oh, he accidentally dropped I would around. do the same thing. Get those monkeys off my bread. I would have shot in the air, though. I would have had shot at the floor. Like. Nigga, shooting in the air is going to be the same thing. Niggas going to scream. What if he would have hit somebody? Like, that shit could have ricocheted. Like, this nigga would have been doing life. On 40000 in cash on the ground in front of a group of fans. And you know how people get around money. They instantly start scrambling, picking up almost all of his money. Immediately stopped and demanded that whoever stole the money returned it immediately. However, people weren't paying him any attention as they had strict... All his money would have been in your drawers? In front That's of crazy. That was until the rapper got fed up and fired a shot at the ground so everyone could stop picking up his cash. This bullet ended up ricocheting and hitting the security guard. What the fuck did I just say? That shit could have ricocheted. Uh, that story was already out wasn't it? But I didn't know. I didn't remember at least. That worked at the nightclub, which raised the high alert in the club. And so got basically he shot somebody. Down. I guess he really meant when he said in his song, Back for Blood, I got my own fire. I don't, I don't need, need security, security in the club. club. Oh, a God. few days later, oh, who shiesty turned himself in. And this is where his life really turned upside down. The rapper was charged with armed robbery with the firearm, theft, aggravated assault with the firearm, and aggravated battery with the deadly weapon causing serious bodily damage. According to a DJ... <laughs> Bro, what happened to the rap game? Bro, it used to be like, oh, this nigga went to jail. Let's make him blow up. Now it's, bro, this nigga blows up. And now this nigga actually lives where he rap about. So now his popularity is going to boost even more. Like, that's been happening lately. That's it's crazy. Sweet. After almost a year of investigation. Wait, what? Fez and Dai Pushaisti on armed robbery charge and alleged that he shot two people during the robbery in October 2020. Fez claimed they used his Instagram post to connect the LV bag with 41K to Pushaisti. Also claimed they tracked the serial numbers of the bills found. Fads finally had proof that he was the one in the 2020 robbery by matching serial numbers. Phone is crazy, but you're not lying. There's a hundred dollar bill and a Louis Vuitton bag that he had. I don't know why you throwing shots at Kodak, nigga. Watch your mouth. Left behind during the robbery to the exact same bag and cash on Chef one of G didn't Instagram blow up like this. That's really crazy how deep the police can investigate. I bet Chef he didn't G was not mainstream. Coming. During his hearing, Shiesty played he guilty was to one of his charges, admitting that he assaulted a victim with a firearm at the King of Diamonds Gentleman Club. And prosecutors are recommending the judge to give him a 97 month or eight year sentence. With the eight year sentence, honestly, he would be getting off lightly. With his other two cases, having a minimum. 10 year sentences each and could possibly get him life in prison. The judges can easily give him a harsher sentence. However, yeah, I can't lie, bro. Eight years sounds bad, but the shit he did, and you gotta understand, it's not alleged. He's literally caught on camera, nigga. He's tracked, they tracked the bills down. He's caught in a club situation. Like, he already said he was guilty for that. Like, they could really do him slimy. Like, they could really do this nigga grizzly, nigga. Like, eight years? That's fucked up. Like, that's probably the best, nigga. Because you know in jail is not really... You know it's not four years that they do in jail. And on top of that, you can get parole, so... Nigga, you could probably come home in three, four, nigga. You never know. I don't know. It is common to take the prosecutor's recommendation, but this wasn't the worst Shicey has had to deal with during his case. The popular 1017 artist is currently being held without bond until his trial at the Turner Guilford Knight Correctional Center. Dealing with social media hate, snitching accusations, and even allegedly being on suicide snitching. watch, he's really been going through a lot in this jail. Shortly after information was released on Shicey's So this case, nigga just getting accused of doing everything. Nigga snitching. Nigga goddamn, uh, uh. He about to commit suicide, bro. What the fuck? Users on Twitter really had a lot to say. Many users replied. Yeah, to how much time you did? Thirty seconds. Academics tweet saying things like, "They make money and get out the hood just to do this kind of stuff." I would never understand it. Just stupid. And another user breaking down the case saying, "So Pusha T went to buy drugs and shoes and had a bag with 40k in it on him. Instead of buying it, he decided to shoot and rob two people. And the police used his IG to match a hundred dollar bill serial number." This Dumb. Following with the gif of Iman Shumper shaking his head saying, Bro, what you on? This isn't really a good look for the artist, as many big companies wouldn't promote such a violent image. The rapper also recently appeared in court in a weird looking large green vest. The average civilian wouldn't know what this vest is or what it means. That wasn't until a few users started to make tweets, and this one video surfaced on TikTok hey, of an ex inmate explaining right now, why he's wearing them. the vest. Is Pooh Shiesty wearing this in this picture? In prison, if you're wearing one of these, it's because you told the cops it's game over. You're done. You don't want to be here no more. That's when everyone found out it was a suicide prevention vest. This is very sad to hear for the rapper. However, his cousin and popular rapper Big 30 claims that this isn't true. And we ain't on no sidewalk. And don't they put you in a straight jacket? No, no, suicide. Why? Come out, come in. 
pull aside, don't they put you in a straight jacket? Shortly after this, Pooh Shisley was accused of snitching. Now, if you know how rap is, you know that snitching is like one of the worst things you can do. According to a room in Clubhouse, which is a popular social media app where rappers and associates of rappers join group calls and discuss and clearing up rumors about things that are going on in the rap game. Black 100, the face of Clubhouse drama. Hey, it's Mrs. A Lottery. I haven't caught this guy streaming this forever. Let's Shisley go, Swifty. With the prosecutor, where he pretty much agreed to uh. give the prosecutor cool information. Pooh Shice attorney, who was also a popular rapper, Kodak Black lawyer, spoke out on Instagram stating that this is a hundred percent fake news and there is no paperwork that Pooh Shiesty said a word about anything on anything and none of the three charged gave proof they only took plea deal. Close his statement saying, but why bother with facts? Just throw something out for clicks. I really like facts. this lawyer. He seems like you really just throw it out for clicks nigga whatever's gonna get views. Nigga, if a video says yo Pooh Shiesty fucking snitched and he's about to commit so nigga I'm about to watch that shit nigga. But if it says yo Pooh Shiesty's doing nigga I don't give a fuck. It's facts. Nigga's gonna stretch the truth, fake it. Really knows what he's talking about since he's proven his knowledge of Happy the law Bobby. by getting Kodak Black out of most biggy situations. His cousin, Big 30, also came to the rescue what happened? with the clapback video. Damn, that that how you throw up and fart at the same really time? Get still be ah! 30 is a real one. He always defends his cover ah! image no matter what, exactly how it should be. Pooh Shiesty also sent oh, out a message to Jill through an oh, Instagram story shit. saying how his name will never appear in oh, paperwork shit. and a factual proffer your mom government at? proffer. He also states that anyone that enters the mom at? they have you think it's funny where your mom met? His rent with a shot at Wack 100 saying, I want all of you lame ass, ass baby. The same I stand like, I will business. smack the shit out you and fire at your house. He's facing life in prison, and because he's trying to take a plea deal, everyone is calling him a snitch. Then you probably wouldn't even believe what else Pooh Shiesty has faced since being incarcerated. Baby, baby mama baby. drama. His girlfriend and hairstylist, Asia Nose, called him stating that she is pregnant with the son. He denied ever even having dealings with her, following with saying, I don't know that lady. I never seen her, but one time, she got too close a little bro it's fake i never did nothing with her i never touched her i damn near never gave her a hug she bro are we still on this video what other information are they talking about yeah, she's a blogger she's messy as hell quit playing with myself and quit playing with my god she went on to drop screenshots of conversations with the rapper along with the photo of them together back in may but this is all rumors and hasn't been taken much further than that but on the other hand let's hope he gets out soon and subscribe you my blessings on one hand but i'm grateful when i make it home look to the sky and i say thank you I peeped the snakes up in the grass, I couldn't play cool If they put the up and leave, nigga, they was mental